So once we learn about the importance of courage and we activate our courage muscle and we're standing full in our power, that is when you're going to be able to get more clarity. How is that? At the end of the day, I can't get closer to click to clarity if I'm not courageous enough to, to even think about what I want, who I want to impact and why I want to impact it. Clarity is generated through action. The more you practice, the closer you can get to who is it that you want to serve? Some people call it target market. Some people call it your avatar. I call it your perfect fit client. And I believe that the more you are your full authentic self and the more courage you have, the closer you'll be able to attract your perfect fit client and repel the ones who are not in alignment with you. Once you're able to really talk directly to your perfect fit client, then you can get closer to being clear about what they want. What kind of problems do they struggle with? Why do they desire to work with you? What kind of transformation do they need? Now here's the deal. A lot of us go back and forth with getting clear on who we serve, but I want you to focus more on why you serve. The value comes in with your why. So I'm going to share my story and how I got closer to clarity. I literally started doing what I was excellent at without even being paid. It wasn't about the money. It was about me making an impact. And I was helping people with confidence, clarity, imposter syndrome, and helping them start. Because what happens with imposter syndrome, and we'll go into this deeper later on, it's the inner critic telling you you're not good enough. You do not have the right to be in the seat that you're in. And at some point, everybody's going to learn that you're a fraud. You've probably struggled with that because over 90% of people in the world struggle with imposter syndrome. So once I said, okay, this is my why, I wanna make sure that people do not shrink. I am passionate about making sure that people know that they are enough no matter what. When I started serving and going deeper into my why, my perfect fit clients started coming out of the woodwork organically. So instead of saying, I want to serve single moms who want to do X, Y, Z, let's think about what is it that the single moms are struggling with? Overworked, overwhelmed, maybe underpaid, maybe some unresolved trauma. Let's start talking about the pain points of the single moms and then the single moms will organically appear. So once you get clear on that, then you have to be fully clear about how your perfect fit client is going to get to the end result. So let me give you a perfect example, okay? If I'm working with at-risk youth who are newly coming out of the foster care system, the things that at-risk youth probably need, support, resources, they may need help with mental health, and let's say they also need help with job placement. How am I going to get them from being newly released from the foster care system to living a full quality of life. There's some kind of gap right there. So I would need to fill the gap. And many times we know where they're starting. We know where they want to go. We kind of know how we're going to help, but we're not fully clear on it. And you can't get clear until you actually try something, right? So maybe I would say, okay, I'm going to work with these youth. I'm going to assess what it is that they need. We're going to create an implementation plan so they can actually do the things. And then from there, we're going to check in and support them with wraparound services. Now, the first time I, I try this, you think it's going to work? It'll probably work a little bit, but it won't be able to get laser focused, fine tuned in the pocket until I actually do my market research, talk to three or four of them who went through my program, and then continually, continuously try, test, and tweak. That's my 3T method. And the reason why I love it is because people think in entrepreneurship, you just wake up and become a millionaire, 
But I will tell you, it's very, 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 very minimal that that's what happens. Entrepreneurship is a big hypothesis. Nobody really knows what they're doing. Yep, I said it and I will say it again. And the reason why I say it, guys, is because do you really think Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Clubhouse just woke up and said, hey, we want to do this thing. We're millionaires. No, there are so many revisions and, you know, uh, feedback sessions and failures and wins and failures again to get them to their super fine tuned clarity. So again, clarity is nothing that you just wake up and put a magic wand and you're clear. No, it takes you doing the work, assessing the work, analyzing the work, throwing some things out, putting some things in, and doing it over and over and over again. So as you're doing your accountability task for this module, I want you to give yourself grace. No overthinking, no perfectionism, and no shrinking. I'll see you in the next video.